Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Apple releasing the latest uh, operating system for the tvOS. So it's tvOS 13.4.6, and it's specifically made for the fourth and fifth generation of Apple TV models. So Apple released tvOS 13.4.6, which is a minor update to the tvOS operating system that runs on the fourth and fifth generation of the Apple TV models. TVOS 13.4.6 comes a little over than a week after the release of TVOS 13.4.5 and in order to get TVOS 13.4.6 it's a free update and just can be downloaded over the air through the settings app on the Apple TV and then just by going to system and then software update and then you can also automatically turn on the updates as well. Uh, so you're probably wondering what's the big features of tvOS 13.4.6 well there's not too many tvOS updates are particularly uh, minor in scale focusing on under the hood bug fixes and small feature tweaks rather than uh, major outward facing changes and based on the other updates that were also released today that include iOS iPadOS watchOS uh, and also the homepod it's mainly for security fixes uh, and it was mainly to cover up the exploit of the uncover JB uh, so that's the reason and you can also use the uncover JB JB on your Apple TV. So that's the main reason why they patched it up. So Apple's direct description of this particular update was that it's available for the Apple TV 4K, also known as the fifth generation, and the Apple TV HD, which is the fourth generation of the Apple TV. So the impact is that an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And the description is a memory consumption issue has addressed with improved memory handling. And then it said CVE 2020-9859, and then it mentioned the Uncover exploit, which was the Uncover JB. Uh, so that is the reason why Apple pushed out tvOS 13.4.6. It's basically exactly the same as 13.4.5. They just patched the Uncover JB. So there's nothing new to write home about. It's still the same old Apple TV. Uh, everything that you come used to will be with the Apple TV. So it's still there uh, with this new tvOS 13.4.6 update. So you're probably wondering if you want to update to TVS 13.4.6 or not, well, I would say it's a minor update. If you do want to have the Uncover JB, uh, I would recommend just keeping TVS 13.4.5. But if you don't care about all that, I'd recommend just updating to TVS 13.4.6. The performance is still the same. I haven't noticed anything new. Uh, it's just still the same and there's no new UI or outward facing features. It's only just a performance boost and security fix, uh, pretty much. Uh, so thanks for watching this video on TVS 13.4.6. Please be sure to subscribe. Please also be sure to leave a comment down below of what you think of tvOS 13.4.6 and if you've been updating. Also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms that include Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is AppleCritics and be sure to subscribe for more great content and thanks for watching. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com and in this video I'm here to talk about the latest software update for the Apple TV which is tvOS 13.4.8 which is the first beta that was seeded to all of the Apple developers. Uh, so today Apple seeded the first beta of an upcoming tvOS 13.4.8 update two weeks after releasing the tvOS 13.4.5 update and two days after releasing the tvOS 13.4.6 update. So you can see that Apple is constantly updating tvOS right before WWDC on June 22nd when Apple is going to release tvOS beta 1. So it's designed for the fourth and fifth generation of the Apple TV model. So the Apple TV HD is also known as the Apple fourth generation is also known as the Apple TV 4th generation and the Apple TV 4K is also known as the Apple TV 5th generation. Uh, so the new tvOS 13.4.8 beta can be downloaded through uh, so the tvOS 13.4.8 beta can be downloaded onto the Apple TV through a po so the tvOS 13.4.8 beta can be downloaded onto the Apple TV through a profile that's installed using Xcode. Uh, so tvOS updates are also an now tvOS updates are generally minor in scale, focusing on under the hood bug fixes and improvements instead of showing uh, outward facing changes such as a new UI. Uh, so there's no uh, new features that I've noticed so far and I've been digging through this beta to look for a new feature that I've really seen. Now the build number on this one is 17M5535F. Uh, and the build number for and the build number now the build number for tvOS 13.4.8 beta 1 